Undercover Boss. It's a television show on ABC, NBC, CBN, MTV, HGTV. You know, I'm not entirely sure what uh, what network it's on, but it's a television show with a great premise. What happens is a boss goes undercover. We're talking like a CEO, a founder of a company, a president of a company. They are so far removed from what it's like to be an employee of the company. So what the show has that person do is come down from their esteemed position give him a disguise and then send him into an entry-level position to show him like, oh my god, this job is harder than it looks. And this video, Undercover Boss Blows Up on Store Manager, was number eight on the trending tab. So you bet your bottom dollar and your top one too, perhaps, just bet it all that I was gonna watch it. You know what? I don't need to hear it. I want a proper apology. Now, I don't know what led up to this. I, I haven't seen any of the, the build-up to this moment. I've only seen this clip. So this is, uh, he's like the founder, this man here. And then this is an employee who has been treated poorly, apparently. And we want to watch here, this undercover boss, he's gonna blow up. Hi. Do you know me? Yes, Mr. Rick. First of all. Yeah. This here, this here, manager or owner of this individual franchise. Yes, Mr. Rick. Mr. Rick. <laughs> First of all. Yeah. Uh -oh. You're gonna apologize to her. I just stopped. You know what? I don't need to hear it. I want a proper apology. You go up there and you apologize. You can shit on me. You can shit on me. You can do whatever the hell you want to me. You can shit on me. You can shit on me. You can do whatever you want. You want to piss on me too? Is that what you want to do, huh? You want to pee and shit on me? Do I look like a toilet to you, sir? You can't treat people like this when they're crying at work. I just no, no, come on. Employees come first. You are disrespectful to the brand, and you know what? I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make it right. Like, listen, it I, like cynically, I watch this and I'm like, you're the president of a company. You understand marketing. You come on this show for good press. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna set things right. Cause that's what we do here at Joe's Wings. It's like, all right, we get it. Oh yeah, this is a wing shop or a wing, a wing store, a buffalo wing. <laughs> What do you call a place like this? Eatery? It's a buffalo wing eatery. Do, do you want to quit? You want to come work for me? I'm ready to quit. Okay, you work with me, I'm gonna triple your salary. Triple, Sabrina. <laughs> triple? Look at the shock on this man's face. Triple, Look, watch his face. Triple, Sabrina. Triple? <laughs> I want you to go over there. I want you to pay for those people's bill. I love it. There's nothing worse than being a customer at a place, and then there's there's yelling. All of a sudden there's yelling. You're just trying to eat your meal, yelling. This crazy promo of yours, what is that? <laughs> Tall boys. Okay, we have a contract for draft beer. I wasn't uh, too happy, I wasn't too impressed with the guy, and this was just the final nail in the coffin. The more and more I think about it. Wait, 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 wait. I knew he was on borrowed time coming in, and this was just the final nail in the coffin. Final nail in the coffin. He's, he's from the north. He's up in my neck of the woods, or my old neck, my, my past neck, the neck I abandoned, Wisconsin. You and me are done. <laughs> You're having a day, huh? One of the craziest things I've ever seen, and I apologize on behalf of uh, myself and our company. Okay. It'll be okay, I promise. I swear to God, I promise, okay? <laughs> Was her son kidnapped? What are you talking about? It'll be okay, I promise. I swear to God, I promise, okay? I swear to God, I promise, I'm gonna find the person who took your son. <laughs> so I got a big smile from him. Thank you. I got it from So you had no in. idea who I was? No, I honestly didn't. So it's gonna make then, your day? I'm just like, okay, but I knew so. <laughs> you didn't know who I was? But once you found out, it was like, you're like, oh my God, this is the best day of my life, right? That was what you were thinking. When you found out who I was? Aww. You don't have to cry. It was a very emotional situation for both of us. Please take the week off, get your energy back, and you have my cell number on there. Just text me any time of night, like I said. Just text me any time of night, like I said. You have a cell number? Yeah, just give me a call anytime, any time of day or night, especially at night. Yeah, just call me with anything, really, business related or not. You can come over, we can crack a bottle of wine and just talk about it. We can talk about work or we can talk about your, your, your boyfriend. Oh, what's that? You don't have a boyfriend? Oh. Huh. <laughs> just text me any time of night, like I said. I just really- <laughs> Any time of night! Sleep, Sabrina. Nice to see you again. Nice seeing you. Uh, I know last time we met, it was uh, difficult to- uh... Like, for, even for the week off, like, even that's enough just to spend with the girls that week. I just- 
really want you to be okay, and I understand there's a problem with the transportation and the car, and I would like to help out with a car. Well, we'll, we'll figure okay. things out, and yeah. <laughs> so let's end this with a nice hug and a fresh start. All right, I'm excited. I'm They've hugged a lot. Can we count the hugs? Can we count the number of, okay, there's one. Wait, well, there was another one before this. Here's hug number one. It'll be okay, I promise. I swear to God, I promise, okay? Um, I don't even know what to think. I promise, I swear to God. He's like, he's like in her. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> he's like in her hair, like he's like hugging her neck. This isn't a coworker hug. This isn't you're my employee, I'm gonna help you out kind of hug. Whispering promises in her ear. And I think she pulls away first, let's watch. I promise, okay? <laughs> yep, uh, she's like, okay, we're done. And he's like, no, 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 hold on, I'm not done with my promises yet. So that was hug one. So how about a big smile from him? <laughs> a smile and a hug. Thank you. Aww. That's hug three. We got a flashback hug. <laughs> hug and a fresh start. Uh, <laughs> Another uh, hug four. The most generous undercover boss moments. I'm seeing a 2.5 million. When Mitch Model goes undercover to check how his employee. Uh, does this man have time to be an undercover boss? Isn't he supposed to be tracking down a hedgehog? Hey, I will say that. Mitch Model goes undercover. I don't know why they had that close up on the earring. Undercover to check how his. <laughs> when he's got that mustache, they're like, oh, they'll never be able to recognize him with this earring. And then he has the thickest mustache. He has like an 1884 mustache, right? This is a mustache from like. Was a hundred years? Decade? Millennia? How long is a millennium? Millennium? Millennia? It's a thousand. What's a hundred? A fortnight. No, that's two weeks. Oh, a century. Here. Oh, it's a century. Oh my god. Wait, isn't millennia a word as well? Yo. Is... Oh my god. Oh yeah. P plural is millennia. Oh, it's if there's multiple millenniums. Millen... We are just, we, somehow we got on a spiral of stupid. Like my stupidity has just continually led to more stupidity. We need to leave this immediately. His employees are doing, he meets Angel, who resides in a homeless shelter with her kids. You know, we've been homeless for a long time. We live in a shelter now. It doesn't you mean- You live in a shelter? It's a just let her tell her story, man. You cannot be talking with that voice. You live in a shelter? Tell me what kind of shelter you live in. Give me some- <laughs> Is that your real voice, sir? For a long time, we live in a shelter now. It doesn't you mean that- You live in a shelter? <laughs> it was way worse than that. We've slept at bus stops. We've been down to where as though we didn't have any money to eat. And I'm gonna tell you something. Things get better. As long as you have that drive in there, as long as you push and you push, things are gonna get better. Things will get better, I promise you. <laughs> this is the best kind of person. The person who's down on their luck but just still has a positive outlook on life. That's like the ultimate person you root for. If life throwing all this crap at you can't bring you down, you deserve success. Wait, what? I know he's got like the mustache disguise, but was his voice also a disguise? Finder to join model for his big reveal at City Field. Here you are, a department manager in apparel. It is, that what? Why did he change his voice? We're giving you a $14,000 raise. What? Ah! Hey, 14,000? That's nice. I saw 2.5 floating around though. 2.5 million? Where's that going? That's not, we're not doing that? Mm. And he then proceeded to give Angel $250,000 for a house. He gave her 250? What do we do with that 2.5 though? Is it... it kills me to see that you're still there. So I have a check for you. Man, you, you don't fake this. This is real genuine. That's a nice moment. I want you to move out of there immediately, like tonight. The next is this one, when Klubeck chooses to see some recent real estate purchases. Spending time with you, you treat our guests like family. Because in Kawasu, we are a family. Yeah. You know, you sacrificed a lot. Wait, that's, that earring's a choice? That's not part of the, uh, the disguise? Huh. Shh, shh, shh. Quiet, quiet, quiet. You don't know. You can't see it. <laughs> this is different. Listen, nose ring. If you're gonna go, let, here, okay. Let me let me explain myself. If you're gonna go earring, at least something medium sized, right? Like something that's almost barely discernible. It's like, oh, is that a speck of dirt? Oh, oh no, it's a, it's an earring. That should not be allowed, okay? Nose rings though, <laughs> totally fine, especially if they're fake. You're gonna call the doctor on Monday, and you're gonna go get baby Daniela taken care of. Yes, yes, yeah, I'm no. buying you a car. Oh my god. It's a 1997 Pontiac with 235,000 miles on it. Hope you enjoy. This is real. You are real. I am real. <gasps> I'm gonna give you 1.3 million pesos to buy a new... 
what's the conversion rate? You said 1.3, 71,000. Listen, that's very nice. But I, you can't say 1.3. When I know that there's a 2.5 somewhere, right? Very misleading, all right? I thought you were hitting her with 1.3. Million. This is the most generous undercover boss moments. Generous. Generosity comes in dollars, sir. <laughs> 1.3 million pesos. You, did he pause? Let me hear all this delivery again. Cause like it, there was enough time in between his words for me to be like, that's a large sum of money. Give you 1.3 million pesos. Yeah, he paused. He paused. That was intentional. He knew what he was doing. I'm giving you 1.3 million. Pennies. Next is this episode when Gina Rivera, the president of Phoenix Salon Suites, goes undercover and meets Richie. He's dealing with enormous medical costs because his daughter was born 15 weeks early. <sighs> daughter born 15 weeks early? Listen, when your kid comes out at four months, like that's crazy. You're not prepared for that. Let's hear about Richie's story. Yeah. When we had my daughter, she came 15 and a half weeks early. So he stays home and does lots of physical therapy and speech therapy to get her caught up. By the time she left the hospital four months later, she weighed four pounds, three ounces. And we just kind of liquidated everything. Cars, house, business, everything got liquidated to start over, over a little over $2 million in medical bills. Then the under how do you live in America? Arguably one of the best countries in the world to live in. And yet just to like have your child survive, you have to pay $2 million? Pesos, I'd understand. I, if he had hit us with the pesos, I would have been like, hallelujah. But $2 million? He better be getting, He is he the one that gets the 2.5? He Cover needs Boss it. decides to help him with his daughter's medical bills. So what I want to do. No more. He's got a nice nose ring, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> it's a good look. I am going to provide you a home. Two point five million dollar house? Up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in value. Why did she say it like that? Up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in value. Uh, a home value up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in value? Like that's the way like a, a company puts out a promo, but they say it in that specific wording so that they don't have to give you like the full value of the thing. You never have to worry. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> It's very generous of her. It's very nice. That was Undercover Boss. That, we just wanted a little taste of it. I think we got that today. Friends video is coming along. We're about an hour in of editing and it's a three hour video, so <laughs> still some to go. Once that's done, I'd like to to make, probably make like weekly videos in Ooga Booga. We'll talk about it a little bit later once, uh, once the Friends video is done, but hope you enjoy this one in the meantime and I'll see you next time. Ooga Booga!